Dancer. I'm going to be hunting Sword Dancers on Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. So, just um, wanted to stream this battle or these series of battles because there are three of them. Getting ready to jump into New Game Plus, and that's going to be the full on uh, playthrough. But this is just, you know, some boss fighting. This is a side quest, a definitely missable one, and from what I understand, it was only available on the PS3 version, and I played on Xbox when I first had it, so this definitive edition, as you can see, we got Flint and Patty in the party, so that's a major, major deal. If you played the 360 version only, you know that you only get to play with Flynn for a very short period of the game. And Patty, they added her, so... Rag Quirion, the Sword of Prayer. Yep, that's the sword. Chill, bruv. Don't do it. I just love how it has a sword as a head, but it also has swords for hands. Alright. This thing, apparently, it's headed straight for us, so... Hold on. Alright, so I never did this boss fight before. So... Let me make sure I come correct. Let me make sure I'm coming correct into this boss fight. Yeah. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Oh, you got big health, huh? Alright, so, yo, look at that run animation. Yo, what? 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 What is going Already? Already? That's how you're giving it up? That's how you're giving it up? That's how I feel? Oh wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm about to change do this, do this weapon. I just had this weapon equipped so I can master a skill, but that skill has long since been mastered. Um, let's see. What's the strongest weapon I can... Is it the unicorn horn? Of course it is. Oh, now the forte staff is kind of brolic. Oh wait, now the serpent spear. Wait, is this the, the um the fell arms? Yeah, it's the fell arms. Let's go with the serpent spear. Yo, this battle theme though. I hear this. Hmm. Let me meet my mic real quick and get busy. That music is, this music is, is, is beautiful. This isn't bad, but I'm, I'm nervous to see what other, what other things are waiting in store once this, this, this HP starts to get into the, like a 500k range. Running quick? Oh, I missed. I got greedy on that one. Hmm, let's go combos. Oh wait, no, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I forgot how to... There we go, hmm, hmm. I've been practicing. Practicing these combos, getting this tech going. Wait, what can I link? Out oh, of Rising Falcon. Judith needs some TP. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. 
Chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Actually, does this thing have weaknesses? It does not. That was a lot of that was a lot of jumping. I like that combo. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, um, you might actually. I don't know what the mod powers are like on on mobile, to be honest. But if not, you're good. Just in case anybody decides to come in here and start spamming and getting crazy. Oh yeah, um, if you can try to jump on, try to get on Wi-Fi. This actually takes a lot of bandwidth to uh to stream uh to stream content to your phone. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Wait, hold on. I have the wrong art set up. So Sonic Thrust. Let's do Shining Falcon on the L1. So like that. There we go. Dang, Judith. Thank you for that fatal strike, but you just low key had me drop my combo, man. Hmm. Come play with your boy. Mm -hmm. So I go to Tiger Blade into Fierce uh, Thingy. Hmm. Yeah, Fierce Hellblade. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, Judith. I'm gonna need you to relax on your on your on your art usage, but also don't relax on your art usage because you're doing a great job, sis. I'm proud of you. Majinkin. You know, I just noticed Estella's really in here throwing hands. Like, we need her in the battlefield. We don't need her out here. Sis, play, play your position. Right now, you are a healer. In another, in another battle? You might be out here using strike arts, but for right now, we just need you using magic and, 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 and heals. Cause that holy blade, I almost forgot. I almost forgot about holy lens. Cause at first I wanted a straight up healing, but now I'm thinking about it. It might be cool to just get some extra, extra magic damage, especially since it doesn't have a light weakness. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Guard arts. Oh, guard arts. Oh. Ah. Goodbye. Okay. Rita, start the flood. No. Rita, Rita's about to bring the pain. Is this is the pain? Oh no, it's the bring the bring the noise. Oh, here comes the flood. Here it comes. Here it goes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah, we're, we're almost out of here, y'all. We're almost out of here. But I'm gonna keep it a stack, y'all. I am using a guide for this, um, to, to find the locations of these swords dancers so I can do this in the correct order. However, 
when it comes to throwing these hands. This is all me. Let's do it. Oh, look at Flynn missing the Holy Lens. I know which, which magic I'm not going to miss. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at this, Leo. Look at the Sword Dancer run. Loki looks like a mannequin with a sword sticking out at the top. Long-legged. Long-legged. Soulless Demon Blade. Alright, everybody getting these level ups. We love to see it. Hmm. Mm hmm. So it's a golem, essentially. to destabilize this formula essentially right right and yeah the, you know it's interesting um the different victory music plays depending on how you defeat the enemy so say for example you beat the game oh not the game you defeat the enemy and you get a high um amount of grade so that means like it's a supreme victory like you barely took any damage you you know you came and you put in the work um then you'd get a different game sound or a different sound sound effect so we're gonna exit up out of here i'm gonna put this holy bottle back on did i come from here i think i came from here yeah i'm gonna exit out Well, alright. <laughs> Apparently, I am running into some major dead ends. It's okay. It's okay. But we are headed to another air crane. I see. Here's the thing. This part of. Um, well, it's interesting that I'm doing the end game into New Game Plus. Because for me, this is all new content. Like, I've beaten the final boss already on my on my first playthrough on xbox 360 you know like 10 years 10 12 years ago but on this playthrough or not even in this playthrough but in this um what i'm doing here is completing all the content that i never got a chance to and then jumping back in for the new game plus is going to be even more of a vibe because i'm i don't know if i'm like i'm not gonna 100 percent it but i'm gonna do my best to complete as much content on stream so right now like clearly i'm like a, like a way higher than obviously i'm not at a beginner level because you know played through the most of the story and done a lot of side quests so this is this is fun it's a vibe you know how long i was trying to get shining fang drop Damn. Oh, Patty with the burst art. Oh boy, oh. Yo, Carol, take it easy on him, fam. Take it easy on him. And definitely I like I definitely like that feature if we're still talking about the same thing I feels like they're rewarding the player who you know rewarding the player with you know more music or like a different a different victory sound like a different kind of victory it's sort of like the seven golden letters you uh, you get shout outs to the FGC uh, seven golden letters perfect I am not sure where that term itself came from um, I think it might have been, it might have came from Marvel, I don't know, yeah, but seven golden letters. Um, Supreme Victory in Killer Instinct, Flawless Victory in Mortal Kombat, uh, that's all I can really think of off the top of my head. 
But yeah, game developers, I really enjoy how they come up with different ways to reward the player for doing well or playing the game exceptionally well. So I think that's pretty dope. But you see here, here how peaceful the music is in the air crane? Let's listen to what the keys are doing. Because you have like that, the one or two notes on the lower end. Actually, I think it's just a C natural, just at the, at the as, as the bass note. Oh, now we got some chords coming in. Yeah, this is this is an amazing soundtrack. Actually, before I forget, I want to look up to see who's the composer. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. the music is composed by Motoi Sakuraba. Sakuraba-san. Or is it like last name first at first? I don't know. Oh no, no, no. I think his his, his last uh their their last name is uh Sakuraba. That's what's up. Um Okay, now you can look at this map. So you gotta go to this area, this general area right here. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, major shout outs to revisiting stories we've experienced before. It's like, and especially uh, like an, a game like this, where there's so many mechanics to, to have been missed. Like I just remember uh, shout outs to, <laughs> shout outs to everybody in my gaming generation coming up. Um, if for everybody that remembers game FAQs, I mean, it's not like it's gone anywhere, but game FAQs was, I used to live on that website. I'm somebody who has a very low patience level for certain aspects of the game. So like, you're not going to catch me going to try to hundred percent a game or trying to do things on like hard mode, for example. However, like. I would go on if okay say for example there's like a puzzle or something and I really don't feel like doing the puzzle myself I would just you know look up the guide I, I don't I don't really have that sort of chip on my soldier that chip on my shoulder and like have that pride like yeah I'm gonna do it myself that's just not me personally as a gamer so I just remember being kind of blown away when I watched um, Doc Firebird's content for the first time He's a Dead Cells player primarily, and um, you know he he plays the game very well at a very high level. So shout out Doc Firebird, um, and I you know you just quickly uses him using him as an example because it's just like I I play vicariously through that person. Like if I ever wanted to know what it's like on four boss cells, eventually I'll get there. But um, <laughs> hard mode is not like my first choice. Is more so what I mean to say and like what I'm really getting at. But this music though. But I love how it goes from that peacefulness to this. You got like the horns, you got the horns in the background. And then you have like light percussion, like really accentuating those beats when the horns come in. So now, like, now you have that that little that sense of like, it's not safe here. Like that's that's the the major the major thing I'm getting from this piece and like the interplay of the instruments is like, yo, this place is not safe. We're not even going to pretend it's safe. The wow, the green light stone that would have been great when I was looking for it before. That would have been great. All right, look, another dead end. So yeah, my people, we just out here running through this dungeon. I have no idea what, um, like what's supposed to follow. I like, I followed the guide up until this point. I'm just using the references for like where the rest, because it's four air crannies. Whoa. Okay. So we're approaching the next, I believe this is the next part of this, uh, this dungeon. The dungeon. I just dropped the fifth five hundred thousand gold 
on repairing Arneon. So my gold is low. Okay. All right, all right. Golem's formula. All I want to know is who built this crap and why. Yo, Raven, I appreciate you. Yep, if that's what we got to do to reclaim the sword, then we have no choice. As long as I got a save point for me, because... Oh, I get it. I get it, I understand. So these four locations that are connected to the same room. So every time I come in, I'm basically just like coming into the same room from a different save point. So we're getting rid of the formula around this. If I got this, if I got this thing understood correctly. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. High key. Do I even have a stronger sword? High ability plus. I don't. Wow. How about that? Radiant star. That's a very nice sword. Holy Avenger. Let's get it. Did I save? I saved. Did I save? I saved. Okay, cool. I know he cut it. Ooh. Palette swap. Yeah, it got a longer blade too. I don't know. This we we might get clapped. I don't know. We might just get clapped. I don't know, B. Yo, this music is so great. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well then, you see all the <laughs> you see all these acrobatics? Bruh. I'm just saying, you see all the y'all seeing these acrobatics. Looking like a whole Olympic gold medalist. Look at that. Sticks the landing. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it did. Oh, I, I don't know if I. Did I use the thing? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Yeah, I'd be forgetting, bro. I just want to make sure because it's not like I can fight this boss like, again. And I want to make sure I have the, um, the thing for the monster book, the data. Okay, so what I'm about to do Wait, well So that was throwing me off. I like to have the, the spells there. I might just put the, the Luminate Scythe, because, no, not Luminate Scythe. Uh, Divine Streak. That move, is, that move is really cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, Divine, yeah, yeah, I'll do up and down. No, uh, down. Divine Streak. Uh, Rising Phoenix is cool. But L1 and up and R should be something that, you know, goes in the air. I feel like that makes sense. Yo, you hear this music, though? Let's go Guardian Field. It's all good. And... Oh, that's cool.
I'll work it out. I'll work it out. That's movement inside. Listen, you have too much. You got too much hops. Like you're going over your target. Not that I'm trying to tell you how to hit me, but what I am saying is that you're accelerating too high, my friend. Oh lord, yo, the range. Oh my gosh, yo. <laughs> Oh my god! Sis. Yeah, this, this is gonna be this is gonna be a nice little a nice little vibe. Oh my gosh, look at me! Wait, wait, hold on a second. I, I can block. It's all right. I'm not. I'm not feeling to do this offense thing that you're trying to do. See, look at that. Look at that. See, take my guard off for two seconds. Yo, what are these acrobatics, bro? There you go. Spirit gun. Uh, I mean, wait. What is this? Uh, Kamehameha? Kamehameha, maybe. Now nah, this is more like a. I don't even know. If I could compare this to another move, I don't know. It's just a, a, a beam of light. Yeah, that's, that's one way to drain out my TP. Oh, he got a demon fang too, or a projectile. Oh. Oh, he just blocked? He just blocked my fatal strike? Nah, I just wasn't fast enough to use, fast enough in using it. Dang, bro. This is intense. Wait, do I have Demonic Chaos map twice? Quite possibly. I do. I meant to put um, Demonic Circle in there, but I already have that too. Uh, uh, probably I'll do. Maybe I'll do Sword and Alpha. That's cool. Um, and then yeah, Demonic Circle. Oh, Sundering Moon, let's go. Majin Ken! Mmm, lay down. Mmm, 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 lay down. Lay down. Mmm! Don't get back up. Don't get... Keep getting back up. <laughs> All right, we got we got a, a lot a lot ways to go. Wait, you can use the, the the thing in the air. Or maybe my 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 usage of the art is going up, so I can use it in in different ways because certain moves. This game has a, a way of rewarding players for the amount of times they use the art. I don't know the specifics, however, I will say that every time... Yeah, look at that. I wasn't able to do Hellfire Blade in the air. But what, what did I just do? Hellfire Blade in the air? I missed. Am I gonna miss again? Probably. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't um, do that into the burst dart, though. Lord. This thing is fast.
da, da, da. Yeah. See how it starts off with the piano? Doing the melody and then you just and then you got the organ in the background. Yo, there's so much stuff out. There's so much goodies in the soundtrack. I feel like I can just do a video analysis of or just like an analysis of this this OST. Or reaction or something. That'll be fire. Yo, Judith, I'm working on something here. Got me out here missing like crazy. I think um the blazing one is a lot better though. Let's go, Judith. Mmm. But what's interesting is uh, the current HP is not the issue. Definitely is not the issue. It's the the TP, which is you know MP or magic points or whatever. Whoa! Get up! Get up! Fight back! Swing back! Nah! <laughs> fight back! Fight back! <laughs> Oh man. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't be engaging the way I'm engaging. You know why? Because this enemy is clearly an overlimit, and an overlimit means overlimit, which means it's time to in increase the difficulty unnecessarily. Mm, 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 mm. No, that's not good. I missed. Yo, you see that that axe kick? Yo, they should have gave the the sword dancers names of these arts. Cause low key, I feel like like they should make a character with these kinds of movements. Or even if 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 it was a boss, but make them a playable character or something. I, yo, I love characters like this. Like straight up, like flexibility. There's like the the. Like the gymnastics aspect, like this, 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 uh, the enemy is clearly mad flexible to be able to do axe kicks, the spins, the flips. Like, it's such an agile fighting style. Like, I mean, it's not a like, look at that. That's those are gymnastics movements, but then also attached to a blade. So that just adds a sense of, of beauty to, you know, what a blade dancer could be. I mean, granted, it's a golem, but if uh, my my people who play Tales of uh, Tales of Symphonia, y'all knew what the sword dance used to look like. So this actually looks like you know, it's dancing. Like this, just watch it, just watch it do its thing. It's gonna probably gonna come after me, no? Look at that! Uh, look at that! Uh, well, the run animation for one, beautiful. Come at me! Whoa! Clearly distracted by look at look at the spin. This is a whole Olympic routine right here. Ah! Lucky I'm at a decent level that I'm I'm not really getting bopped like that. quite a battle well we still have one more one more of these to go Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Just give me one second, chat. I just wanted to make sure that I got the right location. Let's bust a save. Make sure we're keeping our health up, keeping our saves on point. Don't need any mishaps. I can't remember the way I came in though. I think it was this way. No, I think it was over here. But from what I understand, it's four caves. So one of these may not even give a boss fight, which is interesting. But on the way, I think I'm going to stop and grab some more holy bottles because I don't feel like having random encounters every five seconds. Honestly, let me tell y'all a story. Or rather, I don't even know. What I will say is this. To anybody who has ever forgotten to save their game, has done a lot, only to realize that their progress was not saved, my heart goes out to you. And I hope you find the patience to pick up whatever you put down and try again. Because not saving your progress and coming back to that save file Let's say you was level 135 and you come back and you like level, you know, 100. Those 35 levels, I feel for you. And just the energy expended. Oh my gosh, like. So I'm not, it's interesting. I'm not sure that I'd call myself a chronic saver anymore. I do try to not let too much time passed between my saves oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's funny and like and like you you reopen your save slot and then it's like oh nah and then you just turn the game off <laughs> it's like it's like not even having the energy to process how upset you are in that exact moment yo my gamers i know y'all understand i know y'all understand and especially like JRPG players. Like if you play any game that actually requires you to save your progress, games that are not even just RPGs though, but adventure games too. Any game where you can save your progress essentially. All right, let's get it. Look at the moon. I bet you're probably wondering, what's that blue thing in the sky? Listen, what I don't have is time for spoilers. Now let me stop. <laughs> but nah, in order for me to explain what the um, the blue thing in the sky, I basically have to tell you and explain the story. Um, and I don't intend to do that right now because I want to play um, we're gonna play the new game plus and I didn't even have to use the holy bottle here I just kind of wasted some of the time what were we even doing before autosave listen there were games back in the day when I was you know when I was very little like on Super Nintendo and stuff like say for example like Mega Man for example Mega Man X the game didn't have any save data so what did it do it gave you passwords so that when you input the passwords it would take you back to this the state that you were at before you turned the game off so for the most part it just kind of seemed like yo if you weren't beating the game in your first sit down then the game wasn't getting beat and it just seemed like game developers were like yo most of these games weren't supposed to be you know or they weren't intended to be longer than a couple of hours and there were rewards for you know taking the game taking the game and beating it like you know in one sitting right 
and then you had games where it was like actually no then we started to, to get into longer games because we started to increase our technology and like stuff like that so i guess i got to experience both because even autosave is, is kind of a new feature not even all not all games have it because sometimes autosave is counterproductive like a game like this if there was autosave i'd probably pee myself every time because like okay say for example you want to get a certain item from a boss and you're fighting the boss this one time because it's not like the boss respawns right you don't get the item and then the game auto saves I, I'm, I'm that's it i'm, I'm gonna cry like that, I'm, I'm gonna be upset because i'm gonna have to you know play the whole game up to that point over again so yeah in a very roundabout way it depends on what i'm playing and that'll determine if i really feel like i should be doing this this auto save Wait, so do we fight the last one here, or do we... Nah, it doesn't look like it, because the formula's still up. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we fight the third one just yet, because there's four of them. Four, um, four different locations. So, like, okay, say for example, like, autosave in a Pokemon game. Useless. AF. Didn't catch the Arceus, killed it by mistake, autosave. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, um, <laughs> but I think, um, just being on top of our saves is important as gamers. Yo, yeah, peep, Raven talking in slang. I bet we gotta activate the T H A noting, just, just noting for later. Just a sword, you see. But there's more. Only a true knight can wield it. Yep. It was last used in the Great War and no one touched it since. I mean, that's Cap, but okay. But I guess touched by human hands, I guess. Yeah. So basically, he wants to get the sword so nobody else can have it because he's the true knight. I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. But low key, I'm about to take this. I'm about to switch the outfits. Bruh. Y'all chatting too much. Yep, friendship. Yep, activate the last formula. Let's do it. Y'all talking too much. Um. Yeah. No sunglasses. Let's put on. Let's go for this. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm just remembering that joke. Achan was like, uh, cause we, um, our, well, my first job, like actual job was at a performing arts center and we used to work together. So, um, they were saying that, that the, this outfit right here, the legendary gambler fit, it looks just like, um, our old, uh, Usher uniform. And it was just funny cause, um, you, you had to be there. And like, every time I look at the fit now, I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, let's go eye patch. Pull up. Let's do it. Let's go eye patch. Wait, is it? Wait, which way was it? Was it this way? I don't remember. Does it matter? I'm not sure if it actually matters. But I think this is the way I came in. All right, so got to find the last one now. Uh... Wait, so where's the last one? Oh, okay, I got it. Yo, I wish they had something in this game like an escape rope all my people in pokemon y'all understand the escape rope you just use the escape rope and it teleports you to the beginning of the dungeon so you don't have to backtrack the whole way there 
the way I'd appreciate one of those right now, like that would be a top tier item right now. Cause to be honest, I'm thoroughly disinterested in all of this, um, this backtracking I've been having to do. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm backtracking right now or if I'm going into a whole new part of the dungeon. Story. Yeah, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, uh, uh, uh. Getting somewhere? Getting somewhere. All right, let's get it. We out. Back to the calming music. And I love how it's like the piece itself, this piece of music is probably in like three, four, six, eight, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's what gives it th that piece of like, it gives the piece that sense of like floating. It's not going too fast, but it's moving at a tempo that gives it a sense of movement. Yeah, definitely. And then you have um like the the big bass notes on the on the downbeat. And then the string is kind of this kind of backing that that down force, so it's like you just have a a really strong sense of movement. So I'm definitely vibing with this music and having so many different opportunities to listen to it is, is fire. Cuz every time we go to a different part of the same dungeon, we get more of this great music. So shoutouts to Motohi Sakuraba-san for making such a great soundtrack. As a composer myself, I find it even more important these days to listen to works of other composers, especially in the type of field that I'm trying to get into, which is game and film scores. So we are en route or en route and route route to this last air cranny. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I know I did say we were going to stop for some holy bottles, but whatever. Wait, am I going the right way? Is this the right way? But interestingly enough, if I recall correctly, this is the same cave that we got the sorcerer ring from. Maybe. I don't remember. And this is an E minor. I love E minor. I don't want to fight, 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 leave me alone. I don't want to fight you either. I want this chest though. Mystic Orb. I needed that for the freaking or Orneon quest. That's so annoying. And it gives me exactly three of them. So basically, there's a city that, the, um, that they're trying to revive. So in, in this quest, they want you to to find like three of these items and like three of these other items and like three of this and like two of that why i needed i needed this mystic orb and i needed the green light stone so i'm just like well all right then i guess i didn't have to go hunting for those enemies i could have just like proceeded to do this side quest wait hold on i could have proceeded to uh actually don't need to use that all right so I could have just, yeah, proceeded to use, do the side quest, and then... 
Dang. I've never seen a sorcerer ring made any make any enemies glow like that. That was that was different. Unless it just phases through them entirely. It's... But do I have Ar Ar Ariman already? I do. I have two of them. Uh, okay. Should I save here and there? What? <laughs> what? See now, now we're here talking about chronic savers. I'm like, dang, am I a chronic saver? Is is that is that like game game related anxiety? Because I'm not gonna hold y'all. Um, my PS4 is low key like, my my, my, P, my PS4 just be wilding, and sometimes it likes to like eject the disc. And like, if my PS4 was to just you know do what it has done in the past. My stream would just cut off abruptly and I'd just be looking at the tails of Vesperia disc on the floor. Just kind of confused as to like, like, why, like, why me? Why me? <laughs> why, why, why me? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. Another palette, another color palette swap. Oh, sis got wings, or bro got wings. It has wings now. No. Does that mean it can fly? Can you fly now? Should I be nervous? Yo, this, this. Bruh. Wow. This is a lot. You know, I'm actually... Okay. Let's get it. Nah, it's an ostrich? It, it's giving flamingo for me. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm getting a better grasp on the battle system in general. And it helps that my character is like, you know, my characters are pretty well leveled. And then I'm trying to make sure I only attack when I have Sort of like a lockdown. Oh wow, wow. Way to miss, Rita. You know what? Bloody Howling is probably not the best move for this enemy. Tidal Wave definitely has an AoE skill is probably the best. And maybe Ground Dasher. Ouch, man. No, oh. oh. it's the flips for me. Hmm. Two hundred K down. Just about. All right. Let's 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 turn it up. It's the part of the episode, not even the episode, but like the part of the episode, like in an anime, when the character's like, "Okay, now let's let's uh, let's quit the warm up." That's when Goku decides to go Super Saiyan finally after like three episodes of, of fighting at the base form, and just basically wasting everybody's time as viewers. Because we know that Goku's not going to beat this very main villain in his base form. We know this. It's just like, why are you wasting our time as viewers? That's how I personally felt, like, watching the show. I was like, we, we know. Goku hasn't even turned Super Saiyan yet. There's no way. This enemy, this, it, only one of two things can happen. I'm sorry to, like, pause and make this about Dragon Ball. But if Goku is fighting an enemy, right? 
and for any reason Goku defeats that enemy in their base form, they're coming back in the next episode or the next season, I'm like the next couple minutes. Like they're coming back. That's not the way Dragon Ball Z's plot is set up. Maybe in Dragon Ball, but not Dragon Ball Z. Like if Deku decides to, if Deku's fighting somebody and doesn't go any more than than five percent one for all, it's not a real fight. It's cap. It's all cap. Bruh. Can I get a hit in? It's a hole filler. Wait, did I activate over limit? When did that happen? So, Estelle, why? I'm hearing Estelle getting beat up, and I'm just like, Estelle shouldn't even be in this battle. What's, 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 what's Estelle doing here? But now look at her, her TP. She's set up in a way that um, when she has less than 25%, she'll she'll like go and try to get the TP herself. So I'm not mad at Estelle. However, don't think she should be here. Oh, whoa, 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 wrong one. Raising Phoenix? Yeah, there it goes. Yo, I was about to call her, I was about to call her Rita. Judith. Keep doing, keep up the good work. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Wait. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That was a nice little combo. No, you 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 this is this is this is infinite lockdown. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I thought I thought we were about to get Ooh. Man, it's dizzy. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second, bro. Let's not get crazy now. Okay, so can we talk about? Oh, I'm about to say. I'm about to say can we talk about how the fact that we still have? I see holy rains and holy lances, but no holy healing. Like Estelle, you in this party for for your one job is mostly to heal. Your your secondary job is to to, to fight. And, and do magic your tertiary job is to stay away somewhere down that line of job requirements around number eight or nine is to get in the fight and actually swing with your sword so just <laughs> just understand this just, just understand why you've been hired for, for this for these quests and then you'll understand oh sis get out of here Yo, do I have another risky ring? I do not. Oh, man. oh, I do have one of those things that can reduce the TP consumption by 33%. Brother. Brother, my brother. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, it's time to turn it up. Mm. Let's get it. 
Not even back up for the backup. Yeah, that's all. I just wanted to hit one of those. Mmm. Mmm, no. Oh, that's unacceptable. Oh, I'm getting clapped. Yo, during my burst art, bro, you don't have no respect. Yo. <laughs> Judith, you will die. <laughs> like, <laughs> recognize your mortality. I'm just watching her health go down, and I'm just watching her still fight. I'm just like, you you can't die. Like, this is, 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 it's not as challenging, but it's not easy. Let's not get crazy. Moonbeam, okay. Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna need you to block. That's 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 it. I just need you to block. Uh okay. Okay, I can at least buy the Miracle Gels. What I can't buy is the, the, the ones that heal multiple people. I have to synthesize those, I think. So up, down, neutral, down, down again. We're doing pretty good. Honestly, it's not like a hard fight. And I'm doing it on hard, which is... Which, you know, just gives them, like, way more HP and higher stats. And, but I, I, I'd, I'd like to believe that I have a pretty decent grasp on this game at this point. But can I use it in the air? I can! Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that was dope. Bro. We're almost, we're almost, we're almost done here. We're getting there. Oh, is that a free over limit? Don't tell me that. Doesn't use the free over limit. It's alright. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Get up. Yo, you see, you see look who's here. Who's not supposed to be here? Look who's here who's not supposed to be here. Let me change the strategy up, because you're doing a lot. Use half, you're going to use 75%, and just go go along your way. What, what are you set to do? Heal. Look, look, you see the strategy? Heal. Position? Keep distance. Oh my gosh. You see this? It's, it says heal. It says keep a close eye on HP. What's she doing? Not doing that. Well, then again, we're all, we're all we all got full health. Okay, Estelle, you, you I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I was wrong. You just you just doing your best. I understand.
Okay, Ground Dasher is kind of screwing me up. So, Rita, I'm gonna need you to stop with this crap, man. Because every time I go for a combo, I'm just like, wait, why is he airborne again? Oh, that's because I decided <laughs> to set to put Tidal Wave. I mean, to to not have Tidal Wave be the primary skill that needs to be used, because that's what really is the situation. Start the flood! Yo, why Rita always about to die, bro? Oh, you know what it is? She don't have, um... There's a skill that I have equipped that that has me... Like, look at my health recovery. I almost forgot about that. So I automatically recover, like, a, more than more than half of the damage that I take. And not to mention Estelle just kind of healing us the whole time. Very handy skill for real. Let's go. Let's get it. I didn't even realize I was that close to um to taking the enemy out. Um hmm. Good job, Patty. To absorb skills from weapons and feed them all into the sword. Wow. Why well, have a fake day Nomos made in the experiment? What if the fake Domos was just part of the whole thing? So you think Alexei stole the sword too? I mean, Alexei, he kind of dead um <laughs> oh no dogs i feel like the sword has been asking me what makes a true knight the entire fight All that just to get a sword so we can give it away? What do you mean? Of course, I have to teleport the way I came, no? Wait, is this where I came from? I don't remember. <laughs> Yo, I legit don't remember. I legit don't remember where I came from. But as long as we, we get outside and finish this quest, we'd be lit. Get out of here. I heard the hell was hot. I had to feel it for myself. You know why I'm not gonna fight these great cockatrices? They have this really pesky skill called Stone Slash or Stone Something. And literally, when you get petrified, if all your teammates get petrified, it's game over. Off rip. I've been doing the Coliseum and, like, be up to wherever they show up. 
and then I get hit and I'd be like, wait, how did I get defeated? And it's just petrified me, just like, wow. Like, wow. That's just me looking at the screen. It's, oh. Uh huh. A demonic bow that with the power to cause great flames. The blazing arrows can even burn the skies. That's. Wow. What skills does that thing have? Burn spreader. Oh, I already have the. Oh, I already had the bow. Oh, okay. Like, why did I upgrade the sorcerer ring if it's just gonna miss all the time? Uh, do I do I even want to know what that item is? If I can hit the bird with the thing, I'd be great. Oh, I could just you know sneak on by. Stun talisman prevents stun. Nice. Ah! Go away. All right, y'all, this is gonna be the last time we hear this music for a little while. It's a little bit bittersweet. Definitely are approaching the end of the stream though, not gonna hold y'all. Or oh, the end of this quest, which is, you know, marking the end of the stream. And then when I come back, I'm gonna be doing the the labyrinth, the X dungeon, in which we fight the traitor to heaven. I'm not gonna, you know, spoil it and say who it is, but um, we're gonna be fighting the traitor to heaven. Going through that dungeon. So we just gotta go to Arneon. I think I'm gonna actually do the part of it on this stream, so. Right, so now the problem is figuring out where Hiska and Chastel got to. Hiska, what are you doing here? Some little birdies, da da da. We found the sword. Yes, that's the sword. I just find it creepy that there's a face on it. That's just me as a person. It seems you already have. You should keep it for a real knight. Yeah. You are the one true knight, bro. Ain't that a metaphor for life? How often. Are we sitting around looking for things that we already embody? Or looking for people with qualities that we embody ourselves? This man would have spent the whole time holding onto this sword looking for the one true knight when he was the one true knight he was looking for the whole time. Man. Man, this I never dropped the sword too. Don't drop it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, nice. You know what we about to do? Equip that baby, yo. What? Revive from KO with full HP regardless of revival method? Wow. And it's stronger than the Radiant Star. Yo, look at that sword. Ah, that sword is hype. No, 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 no. That sword is fire. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm actually hyped to have this sword. I, I, I haven't been excited about any sword in this game, aside from maybe the, the fell arms for Yuri. I think all the, actually, I think Flynn's fell arm, I'm gonna show you I think it looks pretty dumb. I, I, don't, I don't like it. Like, look at this design. I think it looks pretty stupid. That's just me, me as a person. I, I, it looks like, I don't know, it looks weird to me. I mean, look at everybody else's fell arm. I think everybody else, not everybody, but the majority of the characters have a pretty cool fell arm. That's the the sand spear, um, calamity chain. This is hers. It's, it's like it's pretty cool. And then hers is Mercurius, I believe it's called. Is it Mercurius? I'm not bugging. Yeah, Mercurius. Mercurius looks mad cool. Like everybody else's fell arms look mad cool, except for Flynn's. And I just feel like, like how y'all gonna y'all gonna do Flynn like that? You know. 
This is mad rude. So let's see what, what Arneon is looking like. After, you see my gold? I got 80k. Dude was uh, one of the knights, basically as a side quest. You have to collect the items, I was mentioning it in the dungeon. You gotta help them upgrade this place. And this is the like end game quest, obviously. So, and let me not say obviously, this is an end game quest. Like you can only do it at the end of the game. Either prior to defeating the final boss or right before it. I don't understand. I get I I did the the thing. But I, what? I don't understand. I don't understand. Who do I have to talk to? Do I have to talk to somebody? And maybe I have to sleep at the inn? I, I don't. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding what's supposed to be happening here. Oh, it's unlocked. It's unlocked, but the house is abandoned. Abandoned. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, fairy ring. We like those. Reduces TP consumption by 50%. That's important. Hunter's monocore birth doll. I don't think I need anything here. I do want another Imperial Prestige, though. Low key. But I'm going to save my stuff thief statue give that to oh i already had one ha 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 i guess i had the idea already maybe i gotta rest in the inn How long am I supposed to wait before the changes happen is the question. Because every time you enter, it's supposed to change a little bit. But I, I done dropped, you know, a half a million gold in here. So I want to know that y'all not taking my gold and spending it on, on, on frivolous things instead of upgrading the town for, for the people in it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Good job. Proud of y'all. I turned this city into something beautiful. Did you even do anything remotely useful at all? <laughs> Yo, Rita is so savage! <laughs> Ooh, a token of his appreciation. Cape. I'm assuming it's a it's one of these things. 
Yeah. We like to, we think it's elegance and beauty are fab. I've had enough. All right, the next thing I, yeah, I wanted to see about the, um, in one of these buildings, something important is supposed to happen. So I'm gonna find out which building this thing is supposed to happen in. They're having a meeting, let's not interrupt. I respect it. I respect it. Man said, use my tax dollars wisely. Absolutely, and I'll accept nothing less. Well, this town really did transform though, so. It's actually pretty cool. Um, Blade Master Dojo? Nani? Are you the Blade Master? I mean, neither are towns built in a day. I mean, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Oh, I guess I don't have to talk to him as a specific character. Okay, I'm talking to everybody, just chatting to everybody. Let's go over to the inn. Gonna spend the night. No cutscene for that? All right. Oh, here's a cutscene. That's cool. Oh, doctor, thank you for your help the other day. Doctor, you mean me? Yes, of course, you treated me in the hospital the other day. You're not usually working in the hospital though, are you? No, no, I'm usually out traveling, but you know, I'm not really a doctor. She's just a game breaking game breaker the doctor at the hospital I was telling you about. Oh, I didn't think she'd be this young. Maybe I'll go pay you a visit sometime soon. Bruh, she's not a doctor. She can just do things that other humans cannot. That's funny. She's not a doctor though, for real. She can just use healing arts. They should go find the main character from Tales of Zillia. He's a doctor. Was his name Jude? Yeah. Yeah, Jude is a doctor. An actual doctor. Uh... I'm really trying to... Wait, it's two different shops? What? What do you sell that's different? You sell the same thing as the other person. Why? What? Yo. Are you here to insult me today? Is that what you're here to do? Oh, you just you just got two different registers. Is that, is that what happened? Y'all just expanded? And then you got two different registers? I don't even think y'all have anything new. I mean, there's things I don't have, but it's not things I've never seen before. Maybe the synthesis shop got upgraded? Maybe? It doesn't look like it. Alright. Spinning Pile Driver. I love the name of this weapon. <laughs> Spinning Pile Driver. Delica 1B. Adventure scroll plus one. King size belt plus one. Endless heart. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so here's what I don't understand. Who do I have to talk to? ここ <laughs> oh, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> That's funny. A co medical? Hmm. Healing the pain of others is one of the finest things you can do in this world. Yo, this is so wholesome. This is wholesome. This is, this is wholesome content right here. I could just, yeah. Oh, that's some, some stuff right there. Determined paramedic title. Nice. What does that title do for her, though? I want to see something. Oh, she's a whole doctor! Kawaii AF! Ah! Okay. Um. I want to try out this sword before we do anything else. Actually, hold on. Um, no, that's not it. I believe I passed it.
50,000 gold per person. That's mad breath. Yo, that's guap, bro. I literally don't have enough gold for the for this quest, bro. Like what? What? Oh, all right. I guess that's cool. Rice? That it that's what you get on the toy dispenser? Rice? Alright, so... What you got? Nothing? Alright. I do want to replenish these. I almost forgot. Uh... Alright. So chat... I'm gonna do some more research and figure out what I have to do for this quest. And I'm either gonna come back and do the quest or I'm gonna come back and continue the optional dungeon. Going all the way down to, well, I, I believe I passed Hegemony. And um, yeah, yeah, you passed Hegemony. So it's just Fauna, Fatality and Abysm. And you can kind of just skip all of this, actually. Hold on. All right, chat. I'm going to catch y'all later. Wait, what is... Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm wondering. Oh, okay, so a lot of these items are already in my inventory. Chat. Let me catch y'all. Next time. On Kaichi, please.